one with 2014. Big announcement. 2014, big announcement. Do you ever think it'd get this far? No. 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 <laughs> Definitely not. Um, last year was lovely. I mean, to have our 10th was a kind of big moment, really. Um, and that was a thrill. And the sun shone and everyone danced and had a lovely time. And the Cornbury glorious ale was rather delicious and they ran out of that and it was all fantastic so uh, can we do better well I think we can be consistently good is my plan uh, and that's what we're going to kind of head for we've got a few new things coming through and uh, lineup wise you get kind of 90% 85% of what you want um, but in the round I'm quite I'm quite thrilled I think it's quite Good. It's also quite funny, which I quite like. I quite like the other lineup being entertaining in itself. Uh, how long does it normally take you to get the lineup together? Is it always formulating in your head who you might want to play? Uh... There's, there, there's things in the back of my mind that I think we need to have at some point, and I always kind of go down the road with them, making the inevitable offer to Paul McCartney, and they get the inevitable reply that'll cover the trucking bill. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's stuff I'd, I want to have back. I have to be careful not to have things back too soon. Uh, I have to have things that appeal to a, ride, uh, a wide range of people. Uh, my partners are involved with X Factor, so uh, I have to have a quick look at X Factor um, right at the end. Someone in my office forwards me a couple of X Factor lightly. Uh, yeah, players. The last couple of years, the people like um, Bo Bruce and Lucy Spragan seem to have been really successful on the second stage. Exactly, and, uh, and Ollie Murs did pretty well actually, and is now probably kind of almost beyond our reach, which is good, and we obviously had the original Will Young a couple of times, so uh, no, it's all good, I'm, 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 I'm pleased. You never get quite everything you want. Um, annoyingly, I've been offered one or two acts that I've always desperately wanted, gone yes, and then they changed their plans. So there's a lot of that. Really start, Penciling things from September onwards, I suppose. So there's not much let up, there's not much gap between the years. Um, do you have a, a hit list of two or three people who are your gold stars? Who yeah, I've got, I've, I've got, I've probably got, a, I've got, probably got, depends on the money really, but uh, uh, I think if I won the lottery, I'd book a couple of things that I really can't afford uh, just because I would. Um, I think I've got a dozen absolute must haves. And uh, every year we kind of hopefully get close to one or two of them. And then, of course, all the new music comes in and you get... Uh, we've got a couple of new things this year which I'm really excited about, um, which just kind of fell into place. So, no, all good. So, uh, 2014, are you ready to make the... Uh... I'm 2014, I'm ready to make the announcement. <laughs> so on Friday, the 4th of July, uh, American Independence Day, uh, we've got a uh, headliner will be our old friend and national treasure, uh, Jules Holland. And Jules is coming with uh, Mel C from the Spice Girls, uh, who did the Hootenanny with him, um, which was fantastic, and Mark Armand. Uh, a slightly different one for us, um, Arrested Development uh, will be on before him. Uh, I saw them last year at Beautiful Days and they were brilliant. And I understand they also played Wayman and were pretty good there. Um, our old friends, The Feeling, um, love those boys, work with them quite a lot. Um, second stage, uh, Sophie Ellis Baxter, just had a top five record. Again, we've worked with her a bit. She's played Cornbury before. She's fantastic, really, yeah. and that new record's good. Um, another Cornbury old favourite, uh, Suzanne Vega, uh, which I'm really pleased to have back. She's got a new record. Um, and a cool uh, Dublin duo, Hudson Taylor, um, who uh, I think went on the Radio 1 playlist today, I'm reliably informed. So, uh, kind of a, a lot of a lot of old names, a lot of old faces, but you know, quite a good fa five Fridays favourites day on this occasion. Um, Saturday, the fifth of July, um, headliner uh, Simple Minds. Uh, been longing to have them for quite a while. Um, on before them, uh, another old face of ours, uh, Scouting for Girls. Um, one uh, a lovely rock girl, uh, Lissy, American singer from Illinois. Uh, saw her last year, really, really, really impressed with her. Um, we're probably never going to have Bruce Springsteen, so we've got as close as we can. His best mate, uh, Southside Johnny, and his band, the Ashbury Dukes. Uh, huge, uh, I was a huge fan of those in the 70s. And they're coming along with a special guest, 
whose song I can't quite remember, called Gary U.S. Bonds. Um, I've seen him uh, uh, in the States. Um, for the, uh, we've got the Duelers back because uh, it just made me laugh that, they, uh, that I noticed them around again. Uh, and they played a lot of Cornbrews. So the Duelers are back. And John Allen, who we love, a great singer-songwriter. Um, second stage, best show I saw, one of the best shows I saw last year uh, was Georgie Fame uh, on the occasion of his 70th birthday. I'm kind of copying that show. It's a 16-piece big band with him, uh, which I think will be fantastic. Um, Nina Nesbitt. Uh, Top 20 singles for Nina. And exactly. 20 album. Exactly. Uh, I think the album was number one midweek uh, and then was knocked out by all the Brits, yeah. uh, people coming in, <laughs> but all very good. Um, a band I'm very excited about who are a mad American three-piece uh, blues band called Reverend Peyton's Big Damn Band. Um, definitely uh, worth having them. Uh, and also uh, something I was tipped off locally, uh, a band called Rusty Shackle, uh, who are a great kind of folk act. Yeah. Um, Sunday, uh, hopefully an interesting combination. Uh, 10CC, our old faves, coming back again. Love those guys. Um, I used to have a rather a problem with them because I toured with them a couple of times, which was rather an exhausting experience. But uh, King Creole and the Coconuts have been forgiven and uh, they're, they're now coming to Coolbury. Um And our regular covers band, Stax, uh, will be appearing, but with Misha Paris, who's doing some stuff with them, um, who's absolutely great. Second stage, uh, the festival will close with the Peat Bog Fairies, who I adore. We've had them before, so this is a return for them. Um, X Factor winner, Sam Bailey. Uh, I think that whole story is so fantastic. I didn't know who she was. A uh, girl in my office played me the audition tape from the X Factor, and you have to have a heart of stone not to kind of weep seeing that. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, something slightly weird, the Japanese Jeff Beck, who's called Hot Eye. Um, look him up. He's absolutely hysterical. Um, he wrote the theme for Kill Bill. And he really is the Japanese Jeff Beck. And he wants to play an English festival. So obviously the one to do is Coolbury. Um And a band I saw two nights ago, uh, who I thought were absolutely fantastic, somewhere between Florence and the Machine and Mumford and Sons, uh, called Gabby Young and other, other animals, who are great. So that's our, that's our, oh, Luke Friend, who was also on X Factor. He joins us as well on the second stage. Yeah. So in the round, I'm quite, I think we kind of got a bit of everything, really. Um, some, old, some old friends coming back, some, some new stuff, Nina Nesbitt and Hudson Taylor for the kind of, for the younger lot. And then, you know, some, some great acts that we're having back. So I'm quite pleased. Yeah, it's a very exciting lineup, And obviously with the X Factor, with, Simple Minds, you're obviously appealing to family. Exactly. I mean, it's got to tick all those boxes. You know, that'll be great. But mixing it up with Sam Bailey and then, you know, everyone from Rusty Shackle to Casey Musgroves, it, you know, it's, it's got... Well, I've, done, I've done two or three festivals in Europe with Simple Minds and they're a kind of great anthemic rock act, so that would be great. So, yeah, I think all in all, I look at it and I think actually... When, I've seen, when I see the artwork, it becomes real, and you just look at it and you go, actually, there's a lot of stuff I want to see there. And obviously, Hot Eye is an absolute must. You've got to look, look him up. It's just a genius. It's, it's a big family atmosphere. I'm really proud of the fact that it's safe and it's just, just a, a lovely place to be. Families come year after year after year. I'm really, I'm always surprised when I walk through the campsite on Thursday night and the same families are coming, and they come in... They come in sort of groups of 50 uh, and it's the sort of annual get together. It's the summer Christmas or whatever it happens to be. So that's very exciting. We've got some weird extra thing. I've just booked uh, a vintage mobile cinema and I'm hoping to commission Stephen Fry to make a short QI film because we're still working with the QI guys. So that'll be shown. It's only 32 seats. So we're going to have to show the film quite a few times. Um, I'm also talking to Whispering Bob Harris about coming to do a bit of a Q&A. My old friend Mark Ellen from The Word has just written a hysterical rock and roll autobiography. Um, Julie Birchall has threatened to come again, and et cetera, et cetera. So there'll be some, uh, so there'll be some interesting new things. And with comedy, we've got a, we're increasing our whole comedy thing, and I'll be announcing a big comedy lineup 
probably within a month or so. Yeah, because that was a big success last year. Wasn't well, I was, uh, to be frank, I was always pretty anti the whole comedy idea. Uh, but my, when my partners came on board when we moved to Great Two, they said, oh, no, we really want to do comedy. I, I think I've only managed to get into the comedy tent once. And that was really early in the morning. The rest of the time you can't get in. So although we're going to do bigger names, I think we're going to double the size of it and have it as a proper theatre so that you can go from great music to, you know, a great laugh. Um, same great food offering um, as before. I think we're going to have a, a, a gigantic big wheel um, just on the side of the old wood there. And uh, so you'll get fantastic views down the valley and everything else. Just making it more beautiful if I can. Um, so what does your face normally look like on the Sunday night after the last headline has gone off? Is it normally a very satisfied? It's very satisfied. I'll tell you when my moment of total joy is. Well, it was last year. Um, an old friend of mine many, many years ago gave me an old white BMW, which in my family is known as the Flying Fridge. And uh, it's very kind of dilapidated and everything else. But I do... I get it serviced in a ticket exchange with a local garage. So I sort of pick it up after the festival and the sun was shining and I thought, we've done it. We've got 10 years. It's a lovely thing. Uh, we finally broke even financially last year for the first time, having lost my shirt and everyone else's shirt for the last nine years. So, you know, it, it, th that's the moment. Driving back home um, on a sunny morning uh, on the Monday kind of feels pretty good. <laughs>